Hello, hello. My name is Prue. I am not a nail channel by any means, but I did buy the Holo Taco launch collection. How crazy does that look in the light? I love it. This is Simply Nail Logicals brand, who is a huge YouTuber, and I actually just really love watching her content. And I don't know, it's like one of those like pleasure things of mine. But of all the YouTubers I've seen come out with stuff. I was fairly confident that what I was going to get from her was going to be high quality and I really wanted to try hollow nail polish. I picked up the whole, <laughs> I picked up the whole collection. I have worn these once. I was on, I was, and then I was working night shifts so I didn't get much chance to go on. I did take them all out of the boxes because like, I don't know, I wanted to keep them in the packaging but still be functional. But the boxes are really cute too. But I thought this would also be a more fun way to show you. So, so far I do really like these and I thought it would just be fun to show you them. Let me know if you want to see. So I was talking to my friend Nadia or Chups. I'll link her below and she's super into nails. Her Instagram is full of nails. And she has been using Indie Nail Polishes for a long time. And she told me about this one brand that I've ordered from. Circo Toy or something? So I have ordered some from them and I'm going to give it a try to play around with them. Because I'm a nurse in my everyday life and I work full time, I can't wear these at work. So it's a bit sad. And when you layer on with glitter, and yeah, it just makes it a lot harder to remove them from your nails when they're full of glitter, but I've got a couple days, so it's all good. So I think what I'm gonna do is a, this is also my first time filming, like me doing my nails. So I'm sorry if I'm really bad. So I think what I'm going to do is an accent coat with the black and the rest will be blue. So I've got the one coat black. I have used this on all my nails and it was actually amazing. It didn't stain them, but it was only on for two days, I think. Voila. So they are all like a glossy shine to them, but I really like it. And I'm really impressed with sort of the opaque, opaqueness of them. I've used like a lot of OPI and Sally Hansen nail polishes in my time. And these are definitely the best ones I've ever tried, but I haven't tried many indie brands. Um, and just the fact that Simply Nailogical came out with a brand, it just felt like, yeah, this is the brand I'm going to try. All right, I already feel like the black is such an easier formula than the blue. Oh, I'm just gonna go straight into this one and just see if I can do like a better job. Oh cool, there's a little shaker in there. I just feel like something's going on with the T-shade. Yeah, we're finally there. I'm just finding you need like the exact right amount of sh nail polish on there to get a nice even coating. Alright, so I'm gonna like go away and do my other hand, dry my um dry them and I'll come back and do the hollow so you guys don't have to wait. Alright, we are back. Sorry. I just had to change the SD card a few times. So let's just start this again. I've painted all my nails. The blue ended up being like a really weird formula this time. Last time I only put it on one finger. This time all the fingers. The black is a superior formula. So first I'm going to start off, I'm going to show you. So this is Linear Holo Taco. And I'm just going to put this on my little finger because I don't like this one very much. Um, and the reason I don't like it is just it's like not very, I mean it's alright, it's just like not super fun. I find it's quite packed in. Um, you can see there, it adds like a nice glow and shimmer, but it's, I don't know, there's something extra special about scattered holo taco and flaky holo taco. So let's do scattered, which is this one. Marceline, I get it. I think I like it, like how it's a bit more spaced out. So you can see, can you see? This one is just like a bit prettier. 
So let's put flaky holly taco on the other one. Alright, so here we have flaky on this side. And this hand is me scattered. The scattered flaky. I'm wondering how much of this you can see. I don't know man, filming you now is like a lot harder than I thought. So now I've layered them and I just wish I could show you that are my stumpy little nails. But they are really quite pretty. Alright, I'm gonna let these dry and then I'll come back again. Alright, I'm sorry but filming while doing your nails and having to change the camera angles. I don't think I'm ever doing this again. Yeah, no. Anyway, this is the finished pro product. So I paid 115 Australian for this, which was 60 US dollars for the products plus 20 US for shipping. They shipped with FedEx. It took six business days to get to me, which is pretty good. It's half the time of normal. Of the collection, if you're looking at buying something from this collection, I definitely 100% recommend the black. I've never used black nail polish before because I never thought it would be any good. But this is like one of the easiest nail polish formulas I've ever come across, just in general. If you want black, the one coat black is good. After using the Royal Tea Blue today, no I don't, I don't like it. The first time I used it, I only put it on one nail, so I don't think I noticed all the inconsistencies. I'm going to go watch some other reviews now and see what they think of it. But I just found it really clumpy on this go around, which was really hard. And of the hollows, leaning in the hollow taco seems to be quite popular, but I don't get it. I don't really like it. It's got like a nice shimmer to it. To me, flaky hollow taco and scattered hollow taco are the best. And flaky is my favorite. One thing I love about this is that this is exactly what I would name things if anyone let me name things. I'm uh, excited to support a new brand like this coming up from YouTuber that I enjoy watching. This has been super fun and it's really fun to own them. I'm glad I've attempted filming a nail video because now I know how difficult it is. Uh, let me know if you've picked this collection up, if you're just curious about it, what you think. I don't know man, I think I'm going to go <laughs> remove this and pay someone to do my nails tomorrow. Alright, hello. I'm back. It's been a couple days of wearing the nail polish you guys saw me put on. The blue is already chipping. Well no, oh yeah that's right, sorry. So I removed all the nail polish I put on in that video. It just didn't go on very neatly and I redid it all. I was going to like pay someone to do it but I couldn't be bothered. The blue, so I put these all on Friday and I was going to come back but I think I was just sick of filming stuff by then. So this is the blue and then I've got scattered hollow taco on top. The top coat I use is the big quick dry top coat because if anything tells me it's quick dry with nails I'm going to buy it. So the blue is already chipping, it's only been four days on both fingers. The black is holding up really nicely. So I've had some more time to ponder what I feel about this collection and here it is. I don't think Royal Tea Blue is a good formula. I did watch like another video and they had a similar problem where it was really sticky. I've been watching her videos and seeing what it applies and I think it's just the formula. It's a nice shade, I like it, but I don't think it needed to be in this collection. The Holo Taco Black One Coat, this is amazing and if you're looking for a black nail polish, this is really great. Linear Holo Taco seems to be the one that Instagrammers like, but I don't really like it. It's just really, it's just a really full one. I'm more about flaky Holo Taco and scattered Holo Taco. I think this collection is incomplete because as someone who watches Simply Neological, I think the peel off base coat and the top coat should have been in this collection. Like it should have been the black, peel off, top coat, and maybe even one holo. I get the desire for three different kinds of style if you're really into nail art, but as like a normal person, I would have just really enjoyed having a high quality peel off base coat and a top coat and maybe one holo. 
And that one could have been either scattered or flaky and I would have been happy. Uh, if you watch Sophia Nygaard's latest video, she sort of like sneak peeks a top coat that's coming and or like the peel off base coat. And I thought, I don't know, it just would have been better if it came out now. I think it's great if you want to support her. I do love the box. It's a very cool. And I'm glad I bought these. But that's how I feel. If you're looking to buy them, the black and one of the hollow tacos would be great. You can go check out her video for really good swatches or the differences between them. But flaky is probably one of my favorites. I like it. Uh, so yeah, if you only wanted to buy two, I'd get the black and the flaky and I wouldn't bother about the rest. And I would wait until she comes out with the peel off base coat and the top coat. I think that will be a really good formula and that's why we're waiting. But I do think that that should have been the initial launch. Uh, just if you are someone who watches her channel, you understand that peel off base coat is like a huge thing on her channel and it would have just been fun to have it in this collection. I'm not sure if I will be purchasing any more from it. I'm not much of a nail, a nail junkie. And I do have a order coming from Circo Color that Nadia from the channel Chops got me onto. And I'm excited to play with them when they come. I am more of a pastel person, but I am disappointed with how the blues held up, but it's consistent with what the formula is. Because all the blacks are nice. Even though I have to take it all off today. I got so sick of filming this. All right. I hope you've enjoyed my thoughts. Thank you so much. Let me know what you think. Did you pick up the collection? Was it good? Were you happy with it? What do you think of my thoughts? Are you just watching this because you watch my channel? Um, if so, I absolutely appreciate and adore you. I appreciate everyone who stops by and watches my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Mwah. Thank you.